these cells are primary oocytes. So you can see the blue nucleus of these cells and the yellow cytoplasm. These primary oocytes at this point are relatively small and they're surrounded by simple squamous cells called follicular cells and in this model there is no attempt made to show these follicular cells. Uh, so you only really see the primary oocytes. These primary oocytes are in a grouping right over here and this grouping typically beneath the germinal epithelium is referred to as an egg nest. So here we see these primary oocytes as part of an egg nest and these primary oocytes are surrounded by follicular cells and the follicular cells together with the primary oocyte is called a primordial follicle. So right over here we see seven primordial follicles in an egg nest. What happens every month is that some of these start to develop and they become a primary follicle. So let's take a look at a primary follicle. Right over here we have a primary follicle. The primary oocyte has gotten bigger. The primary oocytes do grow larger as the, the whole structure develops. What's supporting the growth of the primary oocyte are these cells which are still follicular cells. If there's only a single layer of cells, the single layer of cells is still referred to as follicular cells. This now is a primary follicle because of the fact that you can see these follicular cells, they become cuboidal, and the primary oocyte has gotten bigger. Not all of these primary follicles continue to develop. What happens to most of the primary oocytes, including those of the primordial follicles, is that they undergo degeneration and they disappear. This process of degeneration is referred to as atresia. If we just move a little bit below the primary follicle in this model, we can see another primary follicle that doesn't look too good. It looks like this primary oocyte is dying, it's shriveling up, and the follicular cells also appear to be shrinking and shriveling. This represents an atretic follicle. In other words, this is a follicle that is undergoing the process of atresia.